Hello there, brothers and sisters. How are you guys doing? My name is Frank. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Today it is time to test, uh, to continue and test one of the new mods. Uh, well, not test the new mods, but actually uh, keep going with the God the Use Them All tier. The tier when I use all the Pokemon following the Pokedex one by one, and I build a team around them, and I hope they do well in the episode. Uh, you know, getting some kills, or like, I don't know, um, having a great performance and such. Today's turn is D Alolan Dog Trio. We've used Alolan Diglett last time in PU. It, it did well, actually. Uh, I don't remember if we won the battle. I don't think we did, but the, the, <laughs> the Diglett did well, at least. And today is no exception, um, because we're going to try Dog Trio, and we hope he's going to do well. It's a Celium Z set with a Sand Force boosted by the root here <laughs> uh, we have stone edge sucker punch earthquake and then iron head which is going to be the core screw, core screw crash once we activate that it's gonna be great um, and yeah hopefully we can get at least one kill with that hopefully we can yes uh, have some a lot of sort of moves with the sand force this thing will be hitting hard and uh, then we do have the sand setter a spadef tyranitar this time we are packing Crunch and Pursuit, and then Toxic and Stealth Rocks. Uh, I don't know if I want to change Scrunch for um, Stone Edge. You might see it eventually. It's fine. Um, you know, it's uh, it's whatever. And the important part here is uh, my man Dr. Rio. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Crunch Pursuit is, is going to be trapping some of these Psychic types, hopefully. Uh, and it's going to be great. Then we do have a Sandbrush, Choice Bandit, Stoutlin with Frustration Facade, Double Normal, depending if we get status or not. And then Player of Raj, Crunch for Coverage. Uh, I don't know if I want Fire Fang, we're going to we'll have to think about it as well. A Defensive uh, Landorus with uh, Defog, this is not a Stealth Rocker, this is a Defogger and it has HP Ice to beat other Landruses that will try to set up rocks on it and then Defog away. And um, yep, it's, it's there. Um, it's just a classic physical defensive set, but with Defog instead of Stealth Rocks. You have a special defensive Toxapex this time, not a Pokemon that I use too often, because I know it's annoying. But uh, it does fit well with this team, as Ice resists, Fighting resists at the same time, uh, which this team severely needs. So here he is, doing well. Uh, it does patch the weaknesses of the team very well. And then last but not least is going to be Tapu Lele with the Choice Packs. Psych Psychic Surge will allow me... To, uh, will allow my fast mon here um, to not get bopped by um, uh, priority uh, with uh, the psychic surge and the speed, the raw speed of Stoutland. Hopefully, it's going to be great to be winning late game when this is activating. And of course, uh, you know, psychic, psy shock all together. The psychic surge hits pretty hard. Then stab boom blast, very strong, and HP fire to get rid of this pesky. Steel types, if they can even survive these two, but uh, it's nice to have it, especially for Ferrothorn, which is pretty much the annoying, the annoying Pokemon that we could have found. Uh, anyways, uh, I think it's enough talking. I think we we did enough, <laughs> uh, enough of that talking, and I'm going to pause it until we find a battle where Dogdria Lolan can have a nice performance, hopefully. So yeah, it's just going to be just a second for you, and I'll be back. Here we are. This is one battle. Time to try it. I don't think I want to get the sand immediately off. I think I'm gonna leave with Lando because it's pretty good. Even if you bring the stocks effects, like we'll see if it has the um the thing. Uh, Rocky helmet. I was being for Packer. Okay, that's that's fair enough. You know, that's fair enough. I kind of want HPIs on the switch, and it's not where you stay in, right? They usually stay in though. Maybe he thinks I'm scoffed now, so I think going for Earthquake is a nice try. Although HPIs would have been great. Uh, we do a lot of damage to this Garchomp, which is fantastic. Which leads me to believe that he's some sort of offensive set. Uh, which means we don't have that many good switches to a Z Dragon move. Which is scary. Uh, so we'll see. Z Dragon Claws, we can take this. Rocky Helmet put the Garchomp in range and dead. Uh, killing the Sand Force Garchomp is pretty good for my team. Um, especially seeing, you know, I don't want to give sand force with my sand against these beasts, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so now the boss wall comes in, I am going to proceed to probably U-turn out of there, and hopefully he doesn't sub. Uh, but I think he might. I 
nice. He goes for Ice Punch. He does a lot of damage, though. His life orb. Oof. That was... That's painful. Not gonna lie. That is very painful. He does have the, the thing, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to switch out here. He's not. He's not staying. That'd be that'd be madness. That'd be madness. There you go. He goes into Heatran. Now he doesn't know if I if I have Earthquake or not. I'm going to set up rocks. Um, that'd be that'd be bad if he stays in. <laughs> As he does stay in, but I actually went for a Flash Cannon, which leads me to believe he's like super offensive. Okay, that is surprising. Alright, so he's not locked. I'm going to keep this, I think. I don't want to book tail, I don't really care if he dies. Um, I'm gonna keep my sand, right? Hopefully poop tail dies right here. There you go. And it's time that we'll bring this, right? He does have the Lando though. Oof. I'm gonna go for an iron head. Yeah, let's see how much damage we can do. And see if he gets comfortable staying in with this. I think he will. I haven't revealed my Z, and I think it's time. I doubt he's yeah, there we go. There we go. He should he should definitely die from this. Come on! Oh he defunged. That's so good. <laughs> I do have two turns of sandstorm. And I keep clicking this. It's fine. Oh, we got the kill! That's exactly what I wanted. It, it worked! Uh, that defog, uh, a little bit disappointing damage-wise, but, uh, you know, it worked. Do I even want this? I kind of want this, yeah. Let's go to Pex, turn to Toxic Beast and see what set he is. As he goes into his own Tox effects. Uh, we can't really hit each other. Why would you bring this, though? Right, that's a little bit weird. This is called no burn, which is fantastic. Last time I double, I think this time I will stay. Uh, I want to do some damage to the Heatran anyway. We, we have to, you know, lower his HP down as he does that. I'm still gonna stay though. Like even if this the Heatran didn't seem defensive at all. We'll see though. But uh, nah. I don't have an item. Okay, well, we do have this. Let's get some damage. I just need to do damage to the Heatron so I can sucker punch him. <laughs> right? Yeah, we eat this. We eat this. Very good. Very nice. We do have recovery, too. Uh, So really, it's fine. Um, I'm going to Tito this time. And probably just gonna sack it. Do I even need to sack it? I can even skip this. I would be great if I do. Go back into Tox Effects. Hmm. Sure, why he's like spamming these attacks with each one, like, sure, right? There you go. You have Earthquake on this? Don't have it. Team is actually gonna work to ground as well. <laughs> I T punch. Ouch. Damage. Yeah, life or Boswell is not to be messed with. Gotta say. I think he's gonna predict me to switch, but uh, no, he didn't. Okay, that is nothing I was expecting. But this is back. I have two turns of sand as well, so we can do some damage. I think this is pretty good. Yep, that's another kill. Fantastic! Great, great. We have one more turn of sand. Uh, Toxapec comes in. He's, pro he's protecting, right? To waste the sand. Oh, or not. Okay. I was not expecting that. Yeah, I don't know what was that. 
But he has no regions. Oh, yes. Yes. We can tap a bull. That is so great. I think that's pretty much it, right? I can sack now the... Uh, yes, this is, this is perfect. Sack the T-Tar, set, set up the sand while doing so. Uh, keep this for Toxapex, maybe. Um, as there goes the Heatran. Go back into this. We'll see. We should uh, we should outspeed. Now we can just go for Earthquake. Nothing switches into it. Nothing. That's <laughs> that's it. Oh, Dog Trio comes in and just mops the floor with my, with my enemy. Maybe Life Orb was a better set. Let's see how much damage this Earthquake does. Thirty-one. Am I even Sand Force? <laughs> I am Sand Force. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, it's fine though. Now it has to be like max max defense then, right? There you go. It was not spadef. GG. Wow. That went well, very well. Excellent. <laughs> Alright. Uh, even though we've seen the weakness of uh, Dr. Alola, it still killed the Heatran. It still killed the boss wall. And I guess it did some damage to Dr. <laughs> oh, and it killed, it killed the Landris as well. Actually, it killed three things. Not bad. That's not bad. Uh, actually, it was uh, very nice. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. The showcase of Doctrio Alola. Uh, I have I have no idea what is the next thing, the next Pokemon. So, it's time to check it out, right? What is going to be the next episode? Um, I have the list of Pokemons right there. So, the next episode, we've done, we've done the... Diggled and Dugrio. We have Meowth and Persian. Yes! Meowth in PU, Persian in OU, and then we'll do the both Alola and Forms uh, as well. So it's gonna be great. And then we have Psyduck, Golduck. A lot of fun times await us. So hopefully you guys are excited for it, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and bye.